Okay, so the molding of those two wooden caps failed because the water inside the wood had expanded into steam and I do believe, unless I'm very much mistaken, that it expands 1300 times when water turns into steam. So it's messed up. So then I decided um, sooner or later I was going to start designing this stuff to get CNC milled. So rather than making everything by hand out of wood and spraying it and sanding it, uh, I've been planning for a long time now to actually start designing things in 3D in a program like AutoCAD or uh, Inventor or whatever and then send the files to a place to make them machine them out of metal. So I did that. I designed it almost exactly the way it was but better because you can just draw this stuff any way you want on a computer and I've sent it and the guy's very happy with it. He should be making it today or tomorrow and I will show you the result as well as I think I'll show you what the picture looks like uh, so stay tuned um, and, and I'll show you what both my design looks like and the finished aluminium plug That turned out absolutely brilliantly. Check it out. That is just amazing. These are the two. That's the top cup. Uh, well, the end of the handle, really. And that's the bit that would go where the blade is. So, there will be no blade. It will just be the shaft of the actual gear stick. But yeah, I'm going to now mold this and make a mold. I'm now going to make a mold of this. That is awesome. And I'll make about five copies of this mold. The first step is to clean the surface thoroughly. Just basically give that a really good clean. Alright, I'll repeat that. One small with the clean cloth. Now we do the same thing as uh, the last time with the failed wooden plugs. Sealant, several coats, and then a release slip agent, whatever it's called, another few coats. I will cut out a hole in this piece of tin or whatever this is. Um, just slightly smaller than the actual rectangle of that. Then it will sit over the top just to extend that flange outwards, make it wider so it's easier to work with later. So you can see there the rectangle I've marked, that's the exact shape. I'm going to cut just inside it and make two, two shapes like that so that then they can easily be taken off the, off the plug without scratching the surface or anything crazy like that. So basically, I will just tape that on there, and this here, and that obviously gives me a much larger surface to work with later. And they will just both come off like that. Also, this will need to have release agent on it as well, so that it too gets released from the mold. This is the last coat of the slip, uh, what's it called? This stuff will basically, it's the second coat that goes on here. First you have the sealant, and then this stuff which slips off the sealant. So once the mold is on top of this, it will just pop right off with relative ease. 